In the last couple of years, several major studies started to report discoveries of somewhat unusual cosmological signals. Strange blinking objects scattered across the Milky Way that were not very easy to explain. And they were actually discovered completely by accident because of the advances in radio astronomy. Now in the past, many different blinking radio objects have been discovered as well, but these were usually extremely fast, and today we refer to them as pulsars. Essentially, pulsating neutron stars, whose spinning mechanism seems to produce these very specific radio emissions. But here this was something entirely different. The first such object was only discovered in 2022, and this was like nothing we've seen before. Here, in some sense, this was also a pulsar, but it was basically in slow motion. At 4000 light years away from us, this unusual signal was actually producing 30 to 60 seconds of radio emissions every 18 minutes. And it was reported in this study by Hurley Walker and the team you see right here. You can also learn more about this in one of the previous videos in the description. And though even back then there was barely any explanation, it didn't take long to discover the second object, 15,000 light years away, emitting radio signals lasting for 5 minutes with a pulsation of 22 minutes. This was discovered by the same researcher and the team you see here just a few months later. And while eventually Natasha Hurley Walker that you see right here continued to discover more and more. For example here is another one discovered just one year later. 5000 light years away, 30 to 60 seconds long, every 2.9 hours. With at least 10 such objects now known as of 2025. And though it's still unclear exactly what these are, these are now known as LPTs, long period transients. So I guess kind of like pulsars, but just super super slow. But even after all this time, there is really still no exact explanation. Because these are completely new to us, nobody has any idea what's going on and how these signals are generated. Nothing like this has ever been seen before, nothing like this has ever been predicted, and these radio signals are just way too slow to be neutron stars or magnetars, and way too powerful to be anything else. Also, they look just a little bit too natural and too unpredictable to be aliens. And so basically here we're stuck with these new, strange radio mysteries across the entire galaxy. They seem to resemble pulsars, but pulsars with signals at least 1000 times longer. And because of the way we know pulsars generate these signals, it would be impossible for them to spin so slow. Here we're talking about rotation in hours or even in days. Not to mention that these are really strong signals, suggesting that whatever this is, it has to be super powerful. But so far the majority of these discoveries basically came from this telescope. This is known as ASCAP. Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder, which in the last few years produced some of the most incredible radio maps of the entire night skies. We have actually discussed a couple of them in some of the videos in the description, and one of them still kind of blows my mind. It's literally this three-dimensional interactive map you see right here, where you basically see a bunch of objects, but all of them only visible in radio light. And here you can actually click on individual objects to see exactly what they look like as a radio emission compared to what we're usually used to. There's a few other maps we've discussed before in some of the videos in the description, but in essence because of these discoveries and because of these new maps, or technically because of these new surveys, there was now a lot of new data that was previously unavailable including data on various pulsating objects that were actually pulsating relatively slow. And this is how some of these LPTs were discovered initially. But now we have a new discovery that completely by accident became even more exciting. Here this is an object 15,000 light years away that you can kind of see right here. ASCAP J1832-0911. It seems to emit 2 minute pulses every 44 minutes, which essentially makes it another one of these LPTs. But when ASCAP was collecting data about this object, completely by accident it was also observed by Chandra. And as you might know, Chandra Space Telescope can only see things in the X-rays. And here it also recorded very unusual pulsations that seem to correlate directly with radio signals. You can see both radio signals and the X-rays in this image. And to astronomers this is a really strange behavior. These somewhat methodic radio signals with every pulse produced with such an unusual regularity, and visible in both radio light and x-rays, is actually even more difficult to explain. Especially because the pulses coming from this object are extremely bright, producing a lot of luminosity in the x-rays and in radio waves. But on top of this, based on these observations and further analysis, 
researchers established that this has to be a somewhat compact object, basically relatively small in size, and it seemed to produce no emissions before November 2023. So it actually only became this way extremely recently, like here we're just talking about under two years. And that's super bizarre. For example, every single pulsar known to us has been active and has been pulsating for as long as we've known them. And they are expected to pulsate for many, many years. Normally, for a typical pulsar to stop producing radio signals, it has to slow down its spin just enough for the magnetic mechanism to no longer produce enough radiation. And normally, it's expected to happen maybe within 10, but usually 100 million years. And also, they're unlikely to just start like this out of nowhere. Yet here, this object defies all modern theories. And, as always, you can read more about this in the study right here. Detection of X-ray emission from a bright, long-period radio transient. A study by Zetian Wang and the team you see here. And based on previous models and previous explanations, right now not a lot of them actually match. For example, before it was proposed that maybe these are extremely magnetized neutron stars, or maybe white dwarf pulsars, or possibly even binary systems with a white dwarf and some kind of other star that seem to produce these emissions because of very slow spin or because something is orbiting around them. But these particular models did not predict X-rays. And though X-ray emissions could be possible from ultra-long period magnetars or some unique white dwarf pulsars as described in this study, none of them produce radio signals and X-rays in such an unusual synchronized way and none of them have these very long, very powerful emissions. And so right now there's really no clear idea exactly what's happening. For example, here you're seeing one of the previous explanations that involved some kind of a pulsar striking a star that then produces emissions from its surface, but we also observe emissions coming from the pulsar as well. But even these theories do not fully explain what we're actually seeing. And so right now the assumption is that this is an entirely new types of physics when it comes to stellar evolution and stellar objects. Especially because even though the radio and X-ray pulses seem to resemble a magnetar, the overall behavior and the emissions are not consistent enough with magnetar activity. Or just to rephrase this, the radio and X-ray emissions look nothing like what we usually see from a typical magnetar. And if this is a white dwarf, and a white dwarf that's spinning super slow, it actually seems to be several million times more powerful than any other white dwarf seen before. Not to mention that usually white dwarf emissions are also polarized. Here the radio light is very different. And so right now one of the potential best next steps is to try to observe previously detected LPTs and try to see if they also emit something in the X-rays and maybe some other wavelengths. If scientists discover that all LPTs produce X-rays and radio emissions, this might definitely point at some kind of a new stellar object and some physics we've never really considered before. Or maybe this is just a very unique object and something very different never before seen in the entire galaxy. In this particular case right now, this is a very energetic object, producing just as much energy as a typical super flare from a very active star. In other words, every single one of these emissions is just as strong as an extremely powerful flare coming from some of the most active stars out there. But because it's only started recently, and because in the last six months, the X-rays and the radio emissions seem to have actually died down a little bit, seems to suggest that whatever this is, it's not going to be permanent, and it seems to be only affecting this object on human timescales. So for all we know, in the next few years, it might disappear completely. And that means that we might not have enough time and not have enough observations to determine what this is. What is certain though, this is definitely like nothing we've seen before, and right now seems to be one of the most unique objects in the entire galaxy, and technically the entire universe. A strange radio and x-ray pulsator producing signals every 44 minutes. Something we'll discuss again once there are more discoveries or more clarifications, or once someone proposes something concrete that explains all of these bizarre pulsators once and for all. But until then, that's all I wanted to mention. Check out some of the previous videos in the description. Thank you for watching, subscribe, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support the show on Patreon where you can actually find quite a few additional videos, and obviously no ads. Maybe support this channel by joining the channel membership by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. And either way, stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.